Hi, Valder. Good morning. Is this the famous Mary McDonald? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> well, hi. Thank you so much for joining us here in Dallas. Thank you. My pleasure. We're getting ready to go live. I'm waiting for the cue from our producer. We're going to talk about five minutes, and we'll be talking about, of course, your nominated role. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. On air. Hey, Dallas, thanks so much for staying with me through the break. You know, I'm out getting a very good guest because I've got Mary McDonald. And I know you're loving her and she, because she's Oscar and Emmy nominated, and she's back on the case, they tell me, in major crimes. Mary McDonald, thank you so much for joining us here in Dallas, Texas. Thank you. It's my pleasure. It's my joy. It really is. I transitioned from, and, and I know you guys may not think of it, you know, Major Crimes, I, I was telling someone, it used to be another show, and now it's this show, but it's got a new lead actress. <laughs> yeah. Now it's, you know, because I loved all the guys. I'm so glad the guys stayed. Oh, me and too. Yeah. You are, yeah, they're great. They're really great, and you just seamlessly come in like a real job. You know how people replace you on the job, and you yes. come in just like a real job, and I thought that was so cool. Well, that's one of the things that we talked about a lot. You're absolutely right, is that the most important thing is that in Sharon, in the transition into Sharon Rader being the boss, everyone experienced her as if they would, if they were in the corporate world and they got a new CEO, and there's a little bit of a feeling out process and some power struggles, and, and that it was very, very important that Sharon understood that she had to exercise extreme patience and find her way to what was really fantastic about working with these people, how to bring the best out in these super detectives. That's sort of well, how we thought about it. Well, you've done a very, very good job of Thanks. seamlessly uh, uh, coming in, but you made it real for us. Like I said, coming in, in the real world, you get a new boss, and yes. everybody's got to try to find their space within that new relationship. Yes. But you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you. But the thing is that you're doing for me is you've made me more aware in my life of how criminal people are, I'm telling you. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Wait, do you mean you're more aware of the behavior of the criminal mind, or how, how what do you mean? More aware of, of people who are sitting and plotting and thinking these things because yeah. I don't think like that. Simple, I'm not better than anyone else. I just don't think that way. So it always amazes me when I'm watching your show how people are thinking of these diabolical things to do to other people. I know. It really is stunning. It's, it, it, is, it's, it takes your breath away at times. And it's always curious to me and to Sharon, Sharon Rader, who I play, she is, I'm always uh, surprised by the moment where she hears something that she never could have imagined herself. And she does exactly what you're doing right now, which is there's a part of her that's always contemplating the diabolical. Where does that come from in, in a human being's mind? And what, what is the seed that feeds the, the idea of the plot that takes time and planning, and it's just, it's very sad, actually. So let me ask you, this is something I've been asking. You're in this role as a, uh, a lead police uh, woman. Yes. Are police women this beautiful in the real world? Oh, some of them and, are. And I'm not saying it to just flatter you, but you're so uh, attractive. Are they really attractive police people like uh, that? Oh, they really are very attractive. And first of all, thank you very much. I appreciate that. But, yes, there are. As a matter of fact, one of the things that was so delightful for me when I first came on the show was one of our producers, who used to be an LAPD detective, he was in the force for 30 years, he arranged for me to have lunch with these two female detectives. And they were both very beautiful in very different ways. One of them was very petite and blonde, and the other was very voluptuous and dark-haired. And they were friends, they were girlfriends, and they were very funny. They, and they were in, in their civilian clothes, so I got to see their sense of style and hear about their lifestyles and what they like to do and their families, boyfriends, husbands. It was just wonderful for me because it dispelled some cliché I had of 
female cops. Like, we don't really know. We're, we're learning more and more now on television and in film about the female police law enforcement officer. We're seeing uh, the smart, beautiful, strong, brave women that are, are availing themselves to law enforcement. But you're right. Well, you're, we're, we have to learn rep- that. <laughs> you're representing them well. And you said you saw them in their everyday life. Yeah. You have an everyday life here also, too. They try to give yes. us behind the scenes on that. And let me tell you what we're seeing as, as the audience. You're yeah. just like us. You're trying to balance it all. Yeah, I know. Right? It's that how to be a mom, how to be a, you know, it's true. I, it's, it's, it's absolutely true. There, just, there's not enough, there are not enough hours in the day for what a great deal of the female population takes on. Well, you are just, we like you. <laughs> Thank you. We, we really like you. I like major crimes, but you fit, like, so perfectly in that role. Is there any new things we're going to be looking for in, in, in the coming episodes? Well, I don't want to do any spoilers, do you know what I mean? Because uh, that wouldn't be good for all of you. Um, and I'd probably lose my job. But uh, other than that, no, there's, I would say this season what I'm noticing already is that we are better at going deeper into a crime. We can handle more edge together. We are better at handling our personality differences, but it doesn't mean they've gone away. We're better at our power struggles. It doesn't mean new ones aren't developing. We're okay. much closer emotionally as a unit. And I think you're going to start to see more of what really happens between coworkers and the kinds of um, human relationships that develop when people work very closely day in and day out. I think you'll see a little huh? bit more of that this year. Okay, well, we're going to be tuning in, and we'll be looking for those nuances and those very bold things that you guys are going to bring to the screen. Yes. Tell me when you want us to watch Major Crimes again. I'm sorry? When do you want us to watch Major Crimes again? Oh, I want you to watch Major Crimes Mondays at 9 o'clock. Are you in Central or Pacific? I'm so sorry. Okay, it's okay. We can find it in our Central Time Zone, and we're global. 8 so o'clock, like 8 o'clock Monday night on All TNT. Right. Okay. Well, Mary McDonald, thank you so much for coming to Major Crimes and making, you're the only show that I follow, I have to tell you. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you you. so much. Thank you for doing such a great job. I look forward to the things you'll continue to do on the small screen. Thank you very much.